Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I want to give an update on the heater situation on my 180 gallon reef. Uh, if you had seen the video, I made, posted a few videos previous to this one. Um, I had a problem with the heater in my 180 gallon reef. Um, I actually was running two heaters in my reef and this is the Aquion Pro uh, 250 watt heater. And I had two of these running. Uh, these were carried over from my 90 gallon reef. And when I upgraded to a 180, I brought the same heaters over. And to be honest, um, they were a little bit underpowered for the water volume that I was running in here, but they did the job uh, working together. But anyway, uh, on Christmas day, I think it was, yeah, it was, I had a problem with one of the heaters and it started tripping my GFCI outlet. Uh, I took a closer look and for some reason there was a little pinhole in the bottom of the heater and water was boiling out. I, I don't know what was happening, but anyway, uh, there was something wrong with the heater. Uh, I removed it and you know, that left me with a single 250 watt heater running my 180 gallon reef, which you know wasn't good. So I basically had to uh, turn the heat on in my house to try and keep the temperature stable until I could get a replacement. So I did call Aquion and I have to say uh, they have very, very good customer service. So these heaters had a limited lifetime warranty. Uh, so I called them up and no problem. They sent me a brand new heater in the mail a few days later. Um, so you know, props to them for standing by their product. I just needed to provide them with a receipt, which I was able to do since I had bought these on Amazon. Uh, so I took a screenshot, sent it over, and they said, no problem, sent me out a new heater. So thanks to that. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, uh, you know, these particular heater, you know, it's good for a 90 gallon aquarium, uh, you know, 15 degree temperature difference. You know, you need a 250 watt, which is what this is. So I've got a 180 gallon reef. Um, so I figured, you know, two of these, but you know, then add in the refugium, the sump. So it's, it's over 180 gallons. I figured about 220 gallons of water total, maybe. Uh, but anyway, you can see I was really pushing it, you know, with using those heaters. So that made me reevaluate, uh, you know, what I wanted to do. So while I was waiting for the replacement heater to arrive, um, I went ahead and ordered a new heater. So this is the Finex titanium heater, 800 watt. And you know, I think this is more suitable to this size aquarium uh, that I'm running here. So I went ahead and upgraded it to the Finex heater. But as you'll see here, uh, this is merely a heater. So there is no um, temperature control on this. So when there's power, it's heating. So what that means is that you need to go with an separate temperature controller, which is what I did here. So I'm using the Finex digital temperature controller uh, to go along with the 800 watt heater. And the nice thing about this is, and I'll show the actual unit in a minute, um, you could program in the temperature that you want. It's got an LED display there and you could set alerts. So if it goes below a certain temperature or above a certain temperature, it'll make an audible alarm, which is nice. That's something that you couldn't do uh, with a standard heater unless you had, you know, of course, some kind of aquarium controller, which I do not have. So I think the best case scenario is to have an aquarium controller, like an Apex or something. Uh, but I don't have that, so the next best option is to go with a dedicated temperature controller. So this is what I've got running on my tank right now. Um, it's an upgrade from 500 watts heater to 800 watts. And uh, so far I can say that the temperature seems to be much more stable. Uh, previously, you know, as it got colder or warmer in the house, uh, I noticed that my temperature did fluctuate, you know, maybe three to four degrees, uh, depending. Whereas now, uh, you know, I've been watching this temperature controller and it's been pretty much steady at 78 degrees, which I have it programmed at now. So let me uh, go ahead and move the camera and I'll show you how I have this installed. All right, so this is the sump area of my tank. Uh, so in here I've got my bubble trap, so the water's coming in up here. So this black uh, bar right there is the new Finex heater, the 800 watt heater. Uh, and it fits pretty much perfectly inside of this 40 gallon breeder. 
it's the exact length and it just lays down there perfectly fine in there with a little bit of room to spare. Uh, it is a titanium heater, um, which you can't really tell because it has this black uh, protective uh, you know, plastic shielding around it. So inside of there is the titanium heater, but on the outside is this black uh, protective casing, I guess, to keep anything from you know, coming in direct contact with the hot metal or keep it from getting damaged. I don't know. But anyway, that's the heater in there. And then up there I have the temperature controller mounted, and I have it programmed for 78 degrees, and you can see it's on right now. So the temperature had dropped a degree down to 77, and so the heater has kicked on, and you know the power is now going to the heater. And like I said earlier, you can set a high alert or a low alert. You can program uh, whichever temperature you want. And when that goes off, it will make an audible uh, noise, so you'll know that something's wrong with your heater. Uh, you can also switch the temperature scale from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I currently have it set to Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, so that's the controller. So basically, that plugs into your outlet on your wall. There's a second wire, which plugs into the actual heater. And then there's a third wire, which I have uh, down there, right there. Uh, that's the temperature probe. So I have the probe situated in this middle chamber on this in the sump, which I figure that is probably the coldest section or at least the furthest away from the heater. So uh, the water is flowing you know, this way. It comes in through here. So it's getting heated as it passes over this heater. Uh, it goes into the return, up into the tank, um, and you know, back through the return. So by the time it comes down here, this is basically the furthest away from the heater that it can get. So that's where I've put the temperature sensor. I didn't want to put it, you know, if I were to put it in front of the heater, uh, you know, I'd be basically measuring the hot water as it come off of the heater. So I've got it over on this side. So anyway, it seems to be uh, doing the job. Um, I've seen it, you know, go down, as soon as it hits 77 degrees, the heater comes back on, gets me to 78, and it'll stay there. And then, you know, keeps me within that one degree uh, margin. So I'm happy with that heater. Um, I think it is an upgrade from the other heaters, which did a fine job, but, you know, they weren't quite as controllable or as adjustable. So that's uh, what I'm running here. And I guess that's about all I can say with that. Uh... I do have some more upgrades on heater, so I may as well just link all this together. So let me go over to my frag tech and show you what I've got going on over there. All right, since I was on a heater kick, uh, I decided to also upgrade the heater in my frag tank. Um, I was having a problem with the one that was in there. It wasn't really able to hold the temperature. Uh, like I said, it's winter time here, and I have an old house. It's not insulated the best, so it gets cold down here in the living room sometimes. So the one that was in there um, was really struggling to keep this. I forget which rating it was, but I went ahead and bought a another heater. Uh, if I can <laughs> get this to focus. Sorry, one-handed is hard. So this is a Finex 150-watt heater, which I think should be fine for this 20-gallon frag tank. Um... Again, this is a titanium heater, and I can get that. There we go. And this has a uh, temperature controller down there on the cord. Uh, it doesn't have a separate separate temperature probe, which I kind of thought that it was going to at first, but it's all built in. But either way, I think this is a higher quality heater. So let's we'll see how it works. It seems to be doing the job. Um, so that heater is. You can see it back here. It's on the back wall. It's a little bit difficult with the black heater on the <laughs> black wall, but it's right there uh, connected with suction cups. And that heater is connected. Or here's the uh, temperature controller. And this one, as you can see, has a dial. So you can basically turn uh, the dial to where you need it. So I actually had that a little bit too high, I think. So I get this set to about 79 degrees there. There we go. And, you know, as the temperature drops, um, that will kick on. 
and the red light comes on letting you know that you are uh, heating the water and it seems to be uh, doing a better job than the one that I had in there previously so um, yeah so hopefully this will keep the water temperature more stable in my frag tank and yeah so far it's like I said it's doing good so not much else to say about it I mean it's just a heater so yeah I'm just thinking if I should uh, say anything else about it but I think that's about it all right guys um, thanks for watching I'll catch you next video